I gave you 10 years to live your life. Now you see me rise. And where did that get you? You walked in my shadow. I trained you. Most dangerous people in the world couldn't kill you. Son, it's time for you to take your place by my side. You watch out cause it's my time. That's not going to happen. After many months of waiting watchers, we finally got our first look at Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Much of the trailer shows that this is going to be an epic kung fu action movie that follows a similar story to Shang-Chi's in the comics. And we finally get to see the Mandarin and the Ten Rings, which appear to be bracelets rather than rings in this story. Also, Shang-Chi's father is the Mandarin instead of Fu Manchu, but their role is very similar. Both of them being warlords and possible sorcerers, attempting to use their powers to take over the world and using their son to do the same, as both villains appear to have raised Shang-Chi to do his father's bidding, but ultimately being betrayed by their son who recognizes his father's evil. There are a few key things to notice in this trailer, one being that part of the story takes place in San Francisco, once again leading to the possibility that a West Coast Avengers story is in the future. And since they're here, who knows there may be a cameo from one Scott Lang. But even more importantly, this adventure looks like it'll take Shang-Chi across the world to fight his father's influence and minions, one of which appears to be Razor Fist, who actually plays a large part in Wolverine's story in Madripoor, so once again, more and more hints, teasers, and easter eggs that could be precursors to the X-Men. And since we've seen Madripoor once already and Shang-Chi has many stories there, it may make an appearance again in this MCU entry. But the biggest enemy is the Mandarin who was used in a way that upset many fans in Iron Man 3. But now that he's actually appearing, we might finally get a faithful adaptation of the character. But on top of that, we might learn how the actual Mandarin might have inspired Aldrich Killian as well as the Ten Rings terrorist organization. So the time is finally coming in September to answer all the questions we've had since the dawn of the MCU. So watchers, what are you most excited for from this trailer? And what do you hope to see in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings? Thank you so much for joining us today. Please don't forget to tell us what you think in the comments below and then like this video and subscribe to the Marvelous Wave to assemble and join our team and have a great day.